So let's say you want to use R to do the calculations for a t-test where you're testing for a one sample mean. So um, to do this we first need data. So I'm going to go get some data from an example. Um, this example has to do with the emission levels of engines. Again I could um, type the data in but I'm just going to copy the data um, so I don't make any mistakes. So I have it in the right format to put in R with my nice little arrow looking thing with less than symbol on the dash and then C again means to combine all these together and then you hit enter and there's your data in there. Now this is a t-test for the means so um, in R everything is something dot test so we're doing a t dot test. Um, emission is my variable so I would type my variable in and then I need to have something to compare it to so you would look at what your HO was let's say our HO said that mu was actually equal to 20 so that first thing there would be first you type in your variable then you say what is mu equal to and then if you have an alternative your alternative hypothesis is less than or it's greater than then you would type in in quotes either less or greater if it's not equal to you just leave that off um, let's say that we're looking for less than so we type in less there and then you just have to hit enter and it does all the calculations for you. So here is your T for your um, your test statistic. So that is your test statistic that would be the same one as you would calculate by hand. And here is your P value that is also the same one you would get by hand. And you now can do your conclusion based off of this information of your test statistic and your P value. Um, you can, in fact, by the way, copy this and paste this into a Word document if you want to. And that's it.